One beautiful thing about basketball is that every once in a while, there's at least one case of a team checking in more than five players, the refs allowing them to, and the teams finding ways to hide the player from the ref for as long as humanly possible. This usually happens at least once per season, and it's just hilarious how refs let them go on for a whole possession before calling a technical. Christmas comes early in 2021, courtesy of the Milwaukee Bucks, in a match against the Washington Wizards. They've been missing a bunch of guys' presences on the court, like Chris Middleton. So Bud decides to get himself some help to replace Middleton's production and subs in Giannis as the inbounder. Bobby Portis, George Hill, Pat Connaughton, Grayson Allen on the corner, Semi Ojale, and Drew Holiday. Notice how there's 7 players on the court, and notice how every single ref is looking the other way. Now at this point, the only wizard who knows is Corey Kispert, he's like, what the hell, ref? Meanwhile, Bobby Portis is talking to Bud, he's confused, and Bud just tells him to walk to the sideline. And the cameraman even tries to avoid it by panning away. Giannis, the inbounder, never even leaves the sidelines, real sneaky. So there's no real advantage gained by the Bucks, but George Hill gets to shoot and make a 3. Refs blow the whistle. Alright, 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 I got this, give me the ball. Bud's like, oh shit, the refs woke up. Let's huddle up. There was six for the Bucks. I'm fucking stupid. I was looking away. Hello, I'm Scott Foster and I hate Chris Paul. Okay, huddle over. From this angle, this ref had no idea what was happening, even though he was in the thick of the action. Just walks across, and Bud signals for Portis to just hide somewhere. It's hilarious, because there's no possible place to hide a 6'10 human being on a basketball court. The main confusion now is whether the 3 from George Hill counted. Apparently, the shot doesn't count, and the Wizards get the option of redoing the possession, or just straight up getting the ball. And the Wizards coach, Wes Unsell Jr., chooses to just get the ball. Points get rescinded. Washington gets the free throw and the ball, and the injured Bucks end up losing to the Wizards.